you animal. Welcome to Hunting for Rabbits, episode 9. Animal Prints, part 1. So first we'll start with how the patterns go. In this video, I'll show you how to do animal prints that are very similar to wood grains. So that will be zebra and tiger prints. So to create your zebra print, all you have to do is draw a similar pattern just like how you would do a uh, wood grain. Now this one is for something that is close up. But if you want it a little bit farther where you can see more of the stripes, you can start by putting a line in the middle of your paper. Once you have your center line, you can radiate the animal stripes from the center in a symmetrical fashion. Now once you have the patterns done, all you have to do is just change the background color to make them look like a certain animal. For a zebra, you can have a plain white background or in this example, I placed a little yellow and some gray. For the stripes, you can use multiple colors. Here, I will be using black, but you can also use a very dark brown. And just like how you would do your wood greens, all you have to do is follow the lines that you created earlier. You don't have to make the lines super straight or very tiny like how you would do a wood ring. You have to make it a little bit fat. And then for this print that is a little bit far away, all you have to do is the same thing. Just make sure that when you create something like this, uh, the lines are symmetrical. Now in this example, I'm starting to notice that the stripes are a little bit sparse, so I'm going to add um, stripes that go from the opposite direction just to make it look a little bit fuller. To create tiger stripes, the first thing that you have to do is paint your background color um, orange color or in this case an orange brown color and then just like how you would do a zebra print, just, um, just do your stripes. It doesn't have to be super symmetrical but at least it looks like it when you look at it from afar. And then just like the zebra print, I noticed that I think I need more stripes for this example. So I'm just adding more stripes coming from the opposite direction. Now if you want it a little bit funky, Pick a color that is usually not associated with the animal that you want. So in this case, I will be using pink. Now, if you're just going to use black to paint in the stripes, to make things a little bit easier, you can use a marker, the same way that I'm doing here, to create your print. And there you go zebra prints, and tiger prints, and a funk print. Now let's apply the same idea, say, in a throw pillow. Here I have a sketch of a throw pillow, and then I put in the stripes that I want. Now since I'm going to paint the stripes at the end, I decided to put in the shadows on the throw pillow per first. This is because if I put in the stripes first, um, when I place in the shadows last, I might just erase the stripes. So after you put your shadows and some dimensions in, um, in the background of your pillow, you can paint in your stripes. 
So here I'm going back to my watercolor, but if you want to use markers or a Unipin pen. Now here I notice that the outlines of the pillows are starting to fade and it doesn't look like it's a very solid object. So I decided to put a black outline around the pillow, just following the sketch that I did earlier. And there you have it. Animal prints in zebra and tiger. And an application of that on a throw pillow. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, please leave them at the comments section below. Thank you and I hope to see you in my next videos.